Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091 and welcome to a bonus episode of Let's Play Hotline Miami 2 Wrong Number. Uh, well, obviously in the last part I finished the game and uh, I was wrong where I thought that Apocalypse was the bonus content and it wasn't. It was actually just the finale of Act 6, which I thought was still on, but it is the finale where uh, the son, that is his name, uh, that is his given name I guess in this game, uh, goes on that rampage with drugs or whatever, so, um, that is that. So, in this episode, I'm gonna show off, um, some, like, bonus stuff, and, like, the bonus level. But before I do that, I actually went ahead and, uh, took a look at the story of Hot Miami 2, so I can actually understand a little bit better. Um, so if you guys want to skip this, you know, just go ahead, um, you just go ahead and you know, just give a few minutes until I actually start playing the game or something. So, uh, basically, Hotline Miami 2 takes place mainly, well, mainly after events of the first one, but I think also a little bit before. So, the first thing you guys might wonder about, what the hell happened to Jacket? Well, that core proceeding that we saw earlier in the game, the first time we actually saw Evan, he, uh, that was his trial. That, 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 was, that was Jacket's trial, that, that's who they were talking about, which I assumed anyway. Uh, apparently they, at the end of the first game, like after he killed a Russian boss there, I guess his name was Ivan, uh, they arrested him and they found he did all his other killings for apparently for 50 blessings, so, uh, he's put on trial now. And, we, like, we really didn't know much about the background jacket until I took a little bit more into it. Back when we, uh, in Hawaii in 86, I believe, uh, we were part of that ghost... Ghost Wolves pack, where we had Beard, who was the convenience store guy. Uh, we had, what else is there? Daniels, Barnes, and, well, there's also a fourth member. It turns out that fourth member was indeed Jacket. Now, you know, we're doing this mission, everything, we're, we're, well, of course we're playing as Beard, and at the end we noticed how one of them was mortally wounded, and the other guy stayed behind to help him out, and we were helping the other guy, you know, carrying him to the end there. Apparently, Beard was carrying Jacket. And you notice how he said, don't worry, dude, this, this one's on the house. Remember, in the first game, Beard also kept mentioning, yeah, dude, it's, it's always, it's on the house, it's on the house. So, it's like, that that word stuck with Jacket, and obviously that's how they knew each other. And also, right before, I guess, Beard was taken out by that nuclear blast, I guess he was actually speaking with Jacket on the phone because he's like, hey man, and he's like, do you still remember that Pol uh, Polaroid that we took? He's like, I wonder if, he, if I can have a copy of it or, you know, can I have it? And in the ending of the first game with Jacket, he throws that Polaroid out uh, on the bal you know, from the balcony when he will, um, after, he's, after he finished the game. So assuming that is a Polaroid that Evan took with them when we first met uh, the members of Ghost Squad or Ghost Wolves. So that kind of takes care of that. Uh, regarding, like, the whole scene, like, that movie we're shooting, we're playing as Martin Brown, apparently, a lot of his, like, hallucinations for him, but he does have those, like, real murderous tendencies, but it appears that like, he might really be dead because at the end, how we're like, oh, that's a rap, and she's telling, the woman is telling him to get up, the actress, apparently the gun was actually full of live bullets, so he actually is dead. Um, regarding the fans, that's what they were calling them, they basically... A lot of people viewed Jacket as just a simple murderer. Uh, they revered him, and they wanted to do more work like he did, so take out these Russian Mafia and take out these thugs. So we have the fans being Mark, Corey, Alex, Ash, and Tony. I didn't realize this, but uh, I believe Ash and Corey, actually. Corey's also an, uh, another female. They didn't realize that. Uh, so uh, those are actually play a female playable female characters in there. So, uh, yeah, basically they're just a group uh, who revered Jacket and his work, and they put on the masks and they performed vigilante, did vigilante work. Brutal vigilante work. Now, regarding Detective Pardo, he is the Miami Mutilator, that serial killer that he's been trying to track down and everything. Uh, apparently, yep, he just, uh, he was just a along with trying to clean up the crime, but he also is a serial killer. Uh, 
I guess he was also, like, upset with the, the vigilante group, the fans, because, like, they were kind of stealing his spotlight. You know, he, he wanted more people to know about him. And even when he was talking to you know, Evan, his best friend, he's like, I don't know why the hell you're writing about, you know, Jacket. Or, you know, well, he's like, why, why don't you write about a Miami Mutilator? He basically wants himself to be more well-known. And, of course, he gets all paranoid and everything. He's going to get caught, but then again, we see him at the end, trapped in his room, paranoid, and apparently killed by that nuclear blast. Actually... It's a whole other thing I'll get into in just a little bit. Um, who else is there? Of course, the son, as his, I guess, given name in the game, is the son of... Is it Ivan, or just the other boss in the first game, the crazy one? They look exactly similar. We saw him in the finale as well. Uh, so he goes on that crazed out rampage and everything. And on the drugs. And you think he's, like, walking across like a rainbow thing? Nah. He falls to his death. I believe you actually see his body. Is it in this this game or maybe in the first game? I'm not really sure. Regardless, he falls to his death after that um his crazy drug in, uh, induced uh, rampage there. Uh, Jake, the big guy, the Snake Man, if you want to call him. Uh, I know him and one of the characters of Ghost uh, Ghost Wolves Squad look similar, but they're they are not like they're not the same people. Jake is a once again, like, a, apparently a member of the Blessings does whatever for them. And there's something actually interesting about him. He does appear in the first game as a corpse. And I believe it's some level called Hot and Heavy. And this game explains, like, actually what happened to him. Which is another bonus thing, which I may or may not show, but I might just explain. Uh, and then apparently, which is what happened in the, in the, uh, the end there, Russia dropped a nuclear bomb on Miami and ha Hawaii. So, all the characters that we know and love are pretty much dead. And I looked about, apparently the developers uh, are not to go into, they have no plans on making a sequel. They, they actually don't want to make a sequel to How on Miami 2. Uh, they feel like this perfectly sums it all up, and well, okay then. You know, I'm happy with this, so there you go. But I believe that kind of explains the entire story there. I apologize it took so, so freaking long, but I feel like you guys, just, if you guys want to know a little bit more about it, that's kind of what I understood of it. Uh, of course, you guys can always look it up yourselves as well, but you know, I figured I might as well explain it. Now, there's a couple of bonus stuff I want to do. First off, I'm going to go ahead and begin a new game, because apparent, and because now there's hard mode, but I'm not, I don't want to do that. Apparently, something happened, so I started a game brand new here. Yep, here we go. So these are apparently all the characters I believe we played as. Seems like it anyway. You all came back, huh? Why? You all know how to sense, don't you? What the hell are you babbling about? Who are you people? Why am I here? You're not really here, are you? Of course, that's Martin Brown. Of course, I was Jake. This is another dream. And of course, there's Richard. Oh, there's another character I didn't talk about. Richter, who was the assassin who tried, uh, who killed Jacket's hooker girlfriend. And Jack and apparently killed uh, in the police station the first game. It turns out he actually didn't die. He actually survived that. So um, oh, that's another character to do is Richter. And this guy here, Richard, is just some type of persona, uh, hallucination, by, I guess, by all the characters. It's all a dream, isn't it? Enjoy it while you can. Soon, you all have to wake up. I think I've heard enough. Hey, guys, let's get out of here. There's only one way out of this, unfortunately. Why... Why have you taken us here? I tell you that it's all pointless. You're all heading the wrong way. At best, you'll end up in a cemetery. So what? I'm not scared of dying. You don't care what happens to your friends either, do you? Keep on following in your father's footsteps. I told you where they lead. And that's Richter. You remember he wore the rat mask in the first game. I'm sorry for it. I appreciate it, but I'm not really into, I'm not I'm not really who I'm not really who you think I am. Remorse is not gonna get you anywhere, I'm afraid. You think you know everything, huh? You I don't get. Why is it you do the things you do? You're just gonna sit there and judge us, are you? Is that what you think? You don't know who I am, do you? Fine. Have it your way. Just who are you then? I'm the opposite of why you are writing your book. 
I'm something you will never understand. Looks like it's just you and me left now. We've met before, haven't we? Yes, we have. I'm glad you remember. I know you didn't ask for any of this. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Me too. starts the movie. Pretty much signifying that they're all dead. Now you see they're all like skeletons and whatever, you can assume like, oh, well that was from the nuclear blast, other people being shot and killed. Uh, so that's like a little portion right there. Seeing like, you know, all the characters we played as and whatnot. Now, there's a couple other things to do here. I know there's also like newspaper clippings, whatever. I am not going to show that off. Um, because I've kind of racked up requirement to play the whole game over again. I kind of just don't want to do that. But I want to do show off just a few uh, extra things. Now, to get the bonus level, you want to go to... Is it this one? Actually, it might be... Nope, it's actually uh, like four. Falling. Uh, in this scene... Don't worry, I don't think you want to skip the intro. Uh... You play as Evan here, and this is where, you know, they have that freaky music, and you're in a subway with Evan. Well, although it doesn't prompt you to, you can actually pick up the phone here, because you see it's kind of, like, beeping. So, interact with it. You've got one new message. Oh, hello? I saw your ad in the paper. I've got some information you might find interesting. It said 200 bucks for information, right? Well, you better bring it. I'll be at Hank's on 131st all day, sitting in a bar. Just get here before I max out my tab, okay? I said 131st, and I meant 101st. Whoops. Regardless, now that you've done that, there's going to be an extra scene that happens after you beat this level. So, obviously, I'm, I am not going to play the game play a scene over again. Actually, can I? Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys back uh, just as I finish this level so you guys can see the extra scene. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so level's done over with. Let's go ahead and uh, finish here. Eh, I don't know if it's a better score. So, now, see, so we've got the new achievement, a bar broken hero, so you kind of notice here we have different cars and a bike. You haven't seen a bike since the first game, guys. So yeah, we're all familiar with these cars, right? We go here and, well, look who it is. We got the fans. Mark, Tony, Corey, Alex, and Ash. Oh, uh, we also got... The henchman. Didn't really explain his story too, but I think it's kind of self-explanatory. He was just working for the sun here. And, uh, well, goes on a drug-induced... Well, he starts taking the drugs, and... Well, that's that. And he gets beaten to death by the fans. Uh, we also got Jake. Let's explain what happened to him. There's Pardo. Uh, who is this? And that. Well, that's Beard right there. Okay. Regardless, you might be wondering, who the hell is this guy? He, the coloring looks familiar, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Excuse me, sir. Are you the one who left a message on my machine? You said you had some information for me, right? You're that writer, huh? Did you bring the money? 200, yes. So, what do you have for me? Right, I, uh... Was it two years ago? You see, I was out of town for a while. Last track, last lost track of time. Well, look, uh, I was there, okay? The Russians. I killed a bunch of them. In the war, you mean? In the war? P fuck no. Right here in Miami. You know, it was before I went to the desert. I was young. It's only, it's only been two years, huh? <laughs> I feel a lot older now. The Russians, uh, they're a mafia, I think. I killed a bunch. You see, I signed up for this, uh, you know, some patriotic bullshit. I started getting these weird phone calls, you see. Phone calls? That's what I said. You listening or what? A lot of people were getting these calls, I think. I got fed up with it. Wanted out. Trying to figure out who was calling. I think... I 
think there was something big behind it all. Real big. So I skipped town. Went to hiding out in the desert. You think there was a conspiracy? No, man. This thing was real. Not a fucking conspiracy. Anyway, out in the desert. That's where I met him. I've never been scared of anything. This guy gave me the chills. After that, I just lost it. I lost a little fight. Who do you think uh, were making these phone calls? Beats me. So, are you gonna give me my money now or what? I need another drink. I think you've had enough, to be honest. If you can't give me anything more substantial, I can't pay you, okay? Not substantial, am I? Well, screw you, pal. I'm risking my life here talking to you. You're not gonna pay me? Get lost, will ya? I'm through with you. So, this guy is the biker from the very first game. Um, you might be wondering, wait a minute. Well, didn't Jacket kill the biker in the the can in the mechanical um, ending of the game, or the storyline, instead of biker killing Jacket? Well, it turns out that you saw that scar. Apparently, that's what was left of... Uh, that, that was left because of the fight with uh, Jacket. So he didn't actually kill him. And also the same thing about Richter. Um, the bald assassin dude. Uh, we Jacket apparently kills him in the first game. But uh, really, he, I guess he left him, left him to live. That's why he's still in this game. So that pretty much explains most of the character story. So, uh, there's this little, um, this little thing here. Uh, and now, I'm gonna show you how to get the actual bonus content, which, uh, it would have been actually a little bit difficult for me to do, but I actually almost did it when I was playing the game. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a little bit. Um, not to do so, let's actually game, regain control here. So yeah, so that other character, the one lying down, is Jacket. So there's that. Now, go ahead and press eject. Now, now to get the actual bonus level in the game, once again you want to go to Act Four, go to the 15th scene withdrawal, which is like, uh, yeah, withdrawal. This is where you play as um, what's his name, Jake. And, uh, I'll show you. I'm, I'm not gonna... Hmm. Do I wanna show you? I, I'll, I guess, uh, I will show you the... No weapons, huh? That might make things hard. <coughs> I'll show you a, another ending. You're supposed to get an actual mechanical ending to what actually happened to Jake. Um, I'll meet you guys there when I actually get there. Okay, guys, so here I'm, I'm on the third floor of uh, the scene here. Now, the mechanical ending to this is, well, I'm about to show you right here. I'm surprised I d didn't do this in my first run, but uh, I was playing the game normally. But what you're supposed to do is actually get hit. You're essentially captured here. So, this is what really happens to Jake. He's not gonna talk, is he? Doesn't seem like it. Got any last words, asshole? And that's that. Now you actually find his body like that, I believe, with the mask on, or maybe not, in Hotline Miami 1 in the level Hot and Heavy. So, uh, that's not how you get the bonus content, but, uh, you'll see in just a little bit what I'm talking about here. So now, what I need to do is play that level again and make sure that I don't die this time. So, I'll meet you guys back when uh, I actually get the ending I kind of got uh, well, I did get in the um, in my regular playthrough. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So, I uh, got through that level without dying here. So, this is actually the non-conical way that um, uh, that Jake meets his doom, but regardless, uh, there's that. And actually, the car he drives, 
Uh, he wouldn't actually have that car if, uh, if, he hadn't, if I didn't take the money in one of his earlier levels. So blah blah blah. So what you want to do here, I don't know if you gotta press X or R1, L1, but as soon as the guy gets up, you want to press that button right here to pick up the floppy disk. It doesn't prompt you to, but you want to do it. And boom, you get shot, he dies, oh no! Okay. Now, the next scene is Evan looking over the body, or looking over the evidence of Jake. You see there's a floppy disk? Pick it up. Doing so, you will get the achievement, Stare to the Abyss, which is, and the level is actually called the Abyss, that bonus, bonus level. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna go through this because I'm not really sure if it's gonna save if I go anywhere else, so. Okay. Now. I better saved. Better have, anyway. So now we're going to continue. Hopefully. There we go. The Abyss. I have no idea what the house is. All I know I just knew how to unlock it. So let's go ahead and uh, get this one going. I don't want to skip the intro. The intro? What the hell? Hi, I'm Evan Wright. I handed in a floppy disk with some documents. Are my printouts ready yet? I've got them right here, sir. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Northwest 27th Avenue, Northeast 101st Street. Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to have any maps in the city. Sorry, sir. I'm afraid we don't have sell maps here. There's a tourist center a couple blocks down the street, though. All right, thanks again. So yeah, he just went ahead and uh, printed out those. Uh, was that was that around the floppy disks? Now we're in a bonus scene, the abyss. Wow, well, this is kind of creepy. Looks like a totally abandoned building. If anything, this is probably where. They all those street names, and maybe that's where 50 Blessings are. That's where they, um, beat up or kill. Or, like, you know, find out who to kill, maybe. So. Up, oh, here we go. 50 Blessings. Whoa. Uh huh. You're not supposed to be here. We had a deal, didn't we? We stayed in here after dark, and you leave us be. Wasn't that what you said? I'm not sure I... Get the hell out of here now. This is our place, not yours. Don't force us to do something we don't want to. Okay, so these are actually... All the different masks. This is a Hotline Miami 1 and 2. Like, a lot of them we haven't seen here, like... Like that walrus looking thing, I believe, and yeah. So that is that. And of course, they weren't gonna make it easy for me. Actually, interesting, interesting thing I knew about, uh, I found out about Evan is if you knock out two people. Oh crap! If you knock out two people, oh crap! Because you know how he's like non-lethal, right? So you knock out two people, and he goes crazy, right? Right there. Well, that's actually one. Hold on, man. Oh, dang, why the hell did I just stand in the open like that? <sighs> don't worry, so this is the last time I, I... Hopefully the, uh... I don't think there's any other levels after this. Oh, crap. Uh... Oh, damn. Actually, I, I need that weapon. Ow. Actually, he's, he's not gonna pick up that... Damn it! He's not gonna pick up that, uh... He's not gonna pick it up because it kills. Huh, how the hell am I supposed to do this, then? Because they all have guns. Actually... I didn't explain this either. Oh! Hmm. I didn't explain this about Evan. But he can actually pick up guns and just... Un... Uh... Unload them. So... Actually, I wouldn't have this issue right here. Oh, crap. I wouldn't have an issue of them picking up the guns again. So 
so that's how you would uh deal with that. Oh crap. Issue is uh no. Oh crap. I don't know what the hell the other guy was running to though. Apparently he goes like in a ra uh, a rage mode if he uh if he like kinda kills them. Like I've been just right now. Oh yeah, he's going for the gun, so knock him out. Crap! Mm, I forgot about the stupid knife. So I don't know if he goes in that ra uh, that rage mode. If he's gonna be able to um if he's gonna be able to mm, what the hell am I trying to say? Use weapons or not. Ugh, damn it, it always happens. I'm trying to finish up the the death animation there, but uh, it doesn't work. Uh, he doesn't do it in time. So that, that's how you deal with uh, enemies that may have guns. By the road, isn't it? Well, of course, he's picking it up, so it's loaded. Just come here, come here. I really want to show off that rage mode thing, but at the same time, I don't want to screw myself over with, with this. Let's try it now. Right, knock him out. Take off his, takes off his jacket. Now I can use guns. Now he's in range mode. Rage mode. Uh, kind of wish I knew about it earlier, but it made things like a lot more interesting when I was playing as Evan. But you know, still, kind of cool to see. Regardless, like you know, seeing a character who's supposed to be non-lethal and him going crazy on all these uh, SOBs. It's that one guy. There, there we go. So, makes things a lot easier. <laughs> kind of, I'm glad I'm showing it off now. Uh, like I said, there's still other stuff I have, like I haven't shown off. Where there's like you saw those some of those. Sometimes I picked up guns, or sometimes when I picked up um, uh, going through levels, I saw those new newspaper clippings. I, I think they're in every level. I can't be entirely sure, but uh. I mean, that's... Oh, shoot. That is something you could do and look out for for yourselves. Okay. This place is kind of big. I say that, but... There's actually a couple people here still. Of course I missed. There. Seems to be like three more people. Oh, they're down here. Well, thank God, thank God I'm using... Oh. I think I'm, I'm using this mode where you can use guns, I guess. Yeah, that was a risk. I can't see him. Actually, why don't I just go here? Oh. There we go. It's kind of cool seeing Evan like this, though. I mean, gotta admit. So, I believe this is what... Yeah, I got... Huh. Interesting. I'm stuck. I apparently... When I entered this portion of the level, uh, I went too high in, and uh, now I'm stuck. Can't do anything. So, um, I gotta do that all over again. Yay! Okay, let's try this again. Make sure I don't, like, glitch. Thank you. Oh, crap, I thought it was a door. 
way too much noise, but yeah, okay, screw it. I was like missing a lot of shots anyway. Oh crap, mm. the grain isn't really helping in this level, if that makes any sense. I feel like it's kind of screwing me over. Oh no, Oh, really? No, oh, okay, somehow that worked. Oh, that lock-on almost got to me. I gotta change my gun soon enough. One more kill, though. <laughs> Getting the completely... Really? Oh, I was like... Oh, that's weird. I didn't know there's a... I can just walk through, but I guess not. This is the last area in this level, right? I believe so, anyway. Uh oh. Again, I was getting disoriented. Oh. Who else is left? Seems like he's the only one. There we go. Bonus level complete. B plus. And uh, that is it. I believe I can show you for this bonus episode, guys. Um. I apologize if it took so damn long, but this is a bonus app, bonus episode after all, so if you don't watch it, watch it. If you don't, then don't. <laughs> Easy as that. So, uh, I guess that is it. Uh, all is all I'm going to show you for Hollow Miami 2. Once again, I believe uh, you, you guys can go ahead and still pick up for yourselves. You can play in hard mode, play different uh, strategies, use different masks, uh, look for, look out for those, like, newspaper article or whatever, you know, and, uh, just experience the game for yourself. Even though I showed you my terrible playing, the game is still amazing to play. I just definitely recommend it. And if you guys really like EDM, dance music, or whatever, just pick up the soundtrack. Support the developers for this awesome game. And support the artists for those songs. I mean, like, don't just listen to the Ha Miami soundtrack 1 or 2. Listen to, like, Perturbator and Magna and... Commenter Bunt, I believe, and there's a couple other people I've been totally missing. I apologize, but um, El El Tigre or El Tigre or something like that too. Uh, just listen to all the all the music they have they have as well. Awesome artists. So uh, that is it for Hollow Miami Two. Wrong number. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and stay tuned for whatever the hell I love. I can't speak. Whatever the hell you I plan to LP next. There you go. I'll see you guys later.